<clears throat> Excuse me. Captain Ron, I was wondering, are we going to be going to any more, like, human-type places? Well, you heard of St. Croix. Yeah. We're going to the island just to the left of it. What's it called? Ted's. Ted's. It happens to have great historical significance. Oh, yeah, it's probably a sponge fisherman's convention there. Something more on rocks, like we haven't seen enough rocks. Yeah, she's really a great girl, Ed. boss. Oh, God, no. Yeah, I think you might have broke this, boss. Yeah. Hey, Swab, give me another brewski. Okay, so I took the measurements and jotted them down to make these closeout panels. I've given up on trying to find them and uh, just gonna have to make them. I believe I'm going to do it out of half inch sanded maple and then um, like paint the back side and do like a veneer on the front. Um, either cherry or teak, one of the two. Um, I got distracted. I've been playing with the, the uh, wiring for years. Um, and I finally just broke down and took all these panels out of here so I can hide my wiring. I'm going to rewire everything the way I've always wanted it to be. And I'm finally going to finish the bar the way I wanted it. So I'm going to build a closeout panel for the back and use some uh, scrap from the flooring at the base and in the front I'm going to get cherry or teak to uh, cover up this to make a ledge so there'll be like a ledge here that butts up against the casing and then from that ledge back will be the flooring so that's <laughs> that's what's going on right now I'm I've never liked any of the wiring that I did. I'm I'm hiding it all well now and redoing all this. So just a little bit of a distraction, which happens a lot to me. So I'm still just out here pulling things apart, and um, eventually I'm going to take all this home, all the cushions and um, this seat. I'm going to pull the ice maker out. Um, so I can get under there and dislodge the seat. I got all sorts of loose ends I'm tying up that I've just been putting off for too long. All right, I got the uh, floor cut out. Uh, I didn't get it right the first time. I had to run home. Of course, I didn't bring my saw. Um, my buddy Kip actually lives a little closer, so I went and saw him and used his saw. Uh, I left a little bit in the front here. I got to measure this, to make sure, but it should be it should be a quarter inch. That looks a little more, but I can slide it forward and backward a little bit here. So um, before I send this home, I'll get me a nice piece of trim of solid wood and uh, put it up front there, and that'll make it look nice. And then I'll start working on the back. All right, I went to a big box store. Of course, they didn't have anything. Uh, at home, I have a stockpile of reclaimed teak. This uh, is part of a, I think, a, it's an early Sea Ray, maybe like a 1980, 18-footer. This was the uh, swim platform off of it. I busted it in pieces, or not literally busted it, but chopped it up in pieces and kept all of the good solid pieces of teak. So what I'm going to do is make a mark here and here. It continues over to the corners, but I'm just going to router this, uh, this edge here, roll it over, make it look nice, sand it smooth, and then I will finish the, um, the wood. I'm not sure which finish I'm going to use, but uh, I might just oil it, and uh, I might do the same with this. I might just oil the uh, Teak and Holly. So... Um, that's moving along. 
So next, I'd like to put some of those blue lights in there. I'll show you those in a second. I got I got these eagle eyes. That's what they call them. They sit fairly flush. I was thinking about maybe putting some down here facing upward so the right uh, the right bottle could sit on top of it and light up. Um, and then this guy's going to go on top. Right here is going to shine down to replace uh, these were actually up there before. I never liked this whole setup. Um, but yeah, moving along. Okay, so I decided against doing the uh, lights in the floor. Um, I did put the new LED up there from West Marine. Um, that's blue. And uh, I'm going to rewire all this stuff because I really never liked the way I did it. So it's all going to be proper and professional now and all hidden. And uh, everything is going to be on switches and everything. It's going to be real nice. All right, this is where I decided to put the switch for the bar lighting. It's gonna be hidden up in here. This panel goes in this corner. So you'll open up there and you'll be able to turn on the lights in the bar. All right, wish me luck. All right, there it is. I did the old drill uh, four holes in the corner and then used the cordless Milwaukee jigsaw I got to cut it out and here we are all right everything's a mess but I've got it all hooked up now I'm working on closing out the uh, stairs going into the cabin, uh, making it out of half inch birch. And uh, this is where it goes. It closes out that so you don't see all that air conditioning related stuff. And then uh, it'll also quiet down the whole house water pump here. So. Making it out of birch, and uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. Uh, I could stain it, I could finish it, I could cover it. I don't know. We'll see. All right, there's the top one. I got two more to go. Uh, I'm gonna do some cleaning up of the edges. I'll probably router the edges, and uh, I'd have to say I'm probably gonna cover this in something, but I just don't know what yet. I don't think that uh, <clears throat> their birch is going to match anything else, but we'll see. All right, so there's the three panels. Uh, like I said, I, I don't know what I'm going to do for a finish on this or if I'm going to wrap them or, or what. They were uh, that blue carpet from the factory. And uh, while I'm not a carpenter and my cuts are definitely not perfect, <laughs> I still think I did better than whoever did it from the factory because the uh, carpet for, is very forgiving. I mean, these cuts were wavy from the factory. Once I ripped that carpet off, it was like, woof. So that's that. Um, I do have some, uh, I don't know what I did with them. I do have some lights I'm gonna stick in those steps. Here they are. These, uh, these lights are going to go in the steps right in the middle so it'll light up uh, so you don't fall but I'm going to put them right there in the middle I'm going to put them right there in the middle of uh, each of those closeout panels all right here I am cutting out the floor for the head 
and uh, I gotta cut in uh, a little molding right there and it'll slide under the other moldings on this end. Oh, what a mess. But I'm making progress. Just needs to be trimmed out and I need to make that final piece. Eh, it might be two pieces. Trimming out around the uh, toilet's gonna be fun. Alright, so I got the stairs torn apart again. I'm gonna take one of these terminals here and uh, mount it somewhere centrally in there. Uh, I'm gonna grab power here. This is the original light, the one single light that lit up the stairs. And uh, it was right here off to the side. So this power is going to go into the terminal up here somewhere and then distribute the uh, power and ground to the three new uh, lights I'm putting in for the stairs. So that's today. All right, it's not too glamorous back here. I apologize. Um, I'm cleaning things up a bit <laughs> as I'm uh, going through here, but um, here it is. I put one of those West Marine terminals in here, so um, I'll just connect these um, these three step lights like that. And I'm not sure if I'm going to put the original light back off to the side here or not. But uh, that's progress. I'll measure out uh, the middle of each one of these closeout panels. And uh, place it right, right in the middle of each one. And then uh, I'll apply the teak veneer. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. I found a supplier on eBay, uh, Central Hardwoods. They sell um, teak veneer, and um, it's got a 3M PSA backing to it, which is the same stuff that C Deck has on it. Uh, it's a per permanent bond, and it's pressure activated. So I'll just take these home and uh, put the veneer on them, place a weight on them overnight. And then I'll router the edge nice and flush and apply the same finish I put on the floor onto the veneer. So that's, that's it. It's moving along. All right, so I went ahead and marked the exact middle on all three of those closeout panels for the stairs going down. And that's where I'm going to drill my hole to pass the wires through for the, uh, the new LED stairs. Lady stare at lights. Needs a few things massaged that I didn't quite like. But uh, this is it before the veneer goes on. The top light, as I screwed it in, started to go a little crooked. That was me being a little lazy. I should have pre-drilled those holes. I made sure they were straight. Um, but yeah, there it is. So in order to disassemble the steps, you have to take the uh, bottoms out first and then start with the top panel, reach behind there and unscrew all three lights from that terminal strip. And again, that was me being lazy and not going to West Marine and buying the uh, quick disconnects. That I should have bought. <laughs> this is the veneer I bought from Central Hardwoods on eBay after being cut out. It sits slightly proud, but we're going to router it flush. All right, so. We set a bunch of heavy stuff on top of these with wax paper in between. And uh, as you can see, the grain actually lines up perfectly through the middle. So after about an hour of some really heavy stuff sitting on top, 
the uh, pressure activated adhesive is very very stuck in fact it's stronger than the bond between the birch ply from the factory but there it is you can see it's one continuous piece no one will ever notice that uh, the center hole is for the uh, the lights and that's it very nice product so I picked these up off eBay from a guy I think his name was RV and Marine and uh, they're very affordable I think they were 30 bucks for two shipped and uh, they're like a more modern already LED fixture um, I've always just messed around with retrofitting an LED into fixtures um, like these this is the original fixture but with uh, with uh, automotive style LEDs from eBay put into them so I took a gamble on this and bought two I put this one in the head and it seems to throw a lot more light it might not be necessarily as bright in one spot but it spreads it out way better uh, I'm pretty impressed I would recommend going to this um, if it's on your horizon um, still picking away at the floor uh, I need to finish up that one panel and then I think around the base of the toilet I'm either gonna Put some sort of fabric against my better judgment with some sort of trim that screws into the fiberglass area or tile it. I don't know. I'm on the fence about this still. We'll see. But uh, this is definitely getting done this year. I've had quite enough of uh, not having a floor in here. So that's that. I recommend these. Earth has the uh, same light as the head now. It's a little bit more light, but it definitely disperses it better. All right, I got the teak veneer on. I reinstalled the lights. I pre-drilled the holes this time, so the lights are more straight. Now all I have to do is pull it all apart again and apply some finish to these guys now before i do that i have all this teak trim what it is uh it's rounded on both sides you get it from west and uh i had my buddy split it down the middle for me so it essentially created um a lot more trim for me um, and it was too wide and double round anyways, so it would have never worked as trim unless you split it in half. So what I'm going to do is cut this to fit. And, uh, since, you know, I'm learning still, I'm not quite a, uh, carpenter. So I did this out of, or I did this with a, uh, jigsaw. So it's, you can see it's not that nice of a cut, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide that by putting that teak trim across the front of each one of these guys. Now, what I'm gonna do on the face of these, again, I cut this with a jig, so I don't know what I'm gonna do, maybe a belt sander to even this out. Um, clamp this black piece up with some glue, and then I'm gonna go get some more of that double rounded teak trim from West, and I think I'm gonna brad nail it the front of this um, so after that I'll just have to finish those again and uh, we'll just keep moving forward it's crazy just how much work goes into like making something um, you know proper
Here's the closeout panels from the steps. Uh, I got the trim that goes at the base cut out to hide my jigsaw mess. I'm learning. You're all watching me learn. Uh, I will probably have to buy a table saw and a miter saw here soon just because uh, I can't <laughs> I can't do everything with a cordless jigsaw anymore. Um, my skills are now exceeding my equipment so I gotta upgrade a little bit here. So now I'm going to finish these panels and this trim and I'm gonna brad nail these uh, trim pieces to the closeout panel once I reinstall them all. So um, it may not necessarily be perfectly straight but it will appear so with the trim kinda of like the baseboard molding in your home. Behind the baseboard molding the drywall is probably not perfect. So that's where we're at. Alright, there's the uh, trim and the closeout panel with some finish on it. I still need to brad nail the uh, trim to the panel, but I decided to put it all back together just to see how it's going to look. It's starting to get there. I just need to uh, do the face of the stair treads now. And I think I'm going to do something similar. I'm going to take uh, this trim here, brad nail it to the, to the here. I'm going to take the same trim uh, that I used, that I split down the middle to make this, and uh, cover this up with that. So shoot some brads through the trim here, shoot some brads through that type of piece of trim that goes across the top. And, uh, you know, I'm sure I'll have to sand this smooth and make this a little better, but at least I have a plan now. Again, I'm not a carpenter. Anybody that's even slightly uh, skilled in the ways of finished carpentry is probably laughing at me because it's so simple, but... I mean, I've never done this before. I could build a uh, a big block Chevy, no problem. But uh, when it comes to stuff like this, it's just not my wheelhouse. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. It's coming along. No more ice. 20 days until I have to come here with the boat.